All right, slightly wrong term. I'm gonna go ahead and find the right terminal. We got the boat boys with us. Morning. Morning. Adventure. Okay, so we checked in, easy stuff. Easy. No, well, no real debacles. I mean, no one's running after us yet. Yeah. I mean, that's good, right? That is a positive direction of things. They have my wedding ring and social security card, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> They're very different. It sounded so crazy. <laughs> All right, so we've made it to our gate. Contractually obligated to bring White Monster with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Actually got lucky enough and bought one from this sweet lady over there, and then I think she stole nine dollars from me. <laughs> so we're pretty good. At least seven. At least. So far, the adventure's been um, exciting, but no hassle. On to Victoria Falls. there that went relatively smooth Zimbabwe yeah man on to the next thing not sure what that is hopefully the lodge get kind of sorted out by Kelly and them get their stuff out of the airport on to where we're staying which is the old drift lodge so far weather's lovely it is lovely Giant baboons crossing the street. That's new for me. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm about awesome. to get to the initial. Yeah, that's a it small like, piece of water. Uh, it's big, I mean, he's the uh, first of his back. Is I don't have any of those in St. Louis. You. Yeah. Looks like a pool. That's so why they give us a key, Kelly. This will do. This will do. Nice honeymoon suite for the two of us. I love it. This is great. This is great. A wonderful little spot. All right, what do we got? Been tomorrow. Um, we, we'll, however, you know, do the time that we agreed. Um, Seven o'clock breakfast. I mean, even if you come six forty-five, I will still let the kitchen know so that as early as they come, they start making like a quick preparation. Um, Seven thirty, we're leaving for rafting um, from here. And then um, spending overnight at probably Gorge 21 or wherever you'll be, I'm sure you're gonna be having fun. So um, please remember to, should you need any peaceful sleep. We just got roused from our lunch table. Let's go ahead. Make sure you see a lion that they've spotted here. Yeah. So, here we go. There's a giraffe over there. Like, we're not. Just 300 yards from where we're staying. Fresh buffalo, water buffalo kill that these five lions are kind of just working on. Um, His head just popped up right there. Yeah, this is where this is. So, like, where we're staying is on this big nature reserve, and we're 
300 yards from there. No, not interested in National Park. National Park, sorry. Not top of anything other than terrifying wild lions. Out on the river. Yeah. Oh, I love to say, man, this is pretty wild so far. Wait, this is our camp right here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where the lion is. This is right where we were. It's a little special here for the sunset boat uh, cruise. Sunset, amazing. Did you guys see any of the, have you done that in Thailand with the elephants? No. So we went to an elephant reserve. Tonight, down here. <laughs> Ten beers. That's fair. So that's, that's the end of day one. We've made it to uh, Zimbabwe and unreal. There's elephants and hippos and baboons and monkeys and lions and giraffe, warthogs. Position yourself to be in good enough shape and enough resources that you can say yes to opportunities like this. Um, I don't have any interest in going to the same places every year. I want to see it all. And <laughs> fucking river in Zimbabwe, man. <laughs> Thank you all. And I, I hope this makes you want to do more rad stuff. That's all, that's all I want. I just want people to want to spend the days of their lives as full as possible. <laughs> Right. Rafting on the mighty Zambezi River depicted as one of the best one day rafting trips in the whole world. It being the best, it's got guns and roses, angels and demons. Uh, we have crocodiles. We've been rafting on this river for almost 40 years now. There hasn't been any crocodile attack. Yeah? Um, uh, why are we ducking that person down? You try, you try to utilize the reverse action on the buoyance of the jacket. So it doesn't really matter how they land back in the raft. Right. Any questions? Short swim? Long swimmer, you guys are having fun. Hit on a wave, you fall out. This time around, you're not holding on to the OS line. You're as good as a cold or cookie. <laughs> right. uh, so usually, you get it being sucked under maybe 8 to 10 seconds. Actually, look at it. Yeah. It's it's so yeah. Oh, the Don't get it twisted. I'm not Rihanna, but boy, you a gunner. You right on my head list. Keeping my distance. Just checking the list. I'm always aware if you come with position. I just hold out to the perfect condition. Coming alive. End of a end of a long day. Um, spent I spent I got my ass kicked today on the river. Uh, we got dumped at like rapid number five, and that's the first in my life I can safely say that without a life jacket I drown. Yeah, I was underwater a really long time. Um, is it yeah, it's an experience. I'm very very live today right like today won't blend in to other days in my memory so this one's burned in forever it doesn't it's not just part of the routine it's not part of yeah today's a good one I got to share it with a really really rad group of people and uh, our guides and the people who work for this company are incredible um, and I think tonight I am gonna sleep outside of my tent. That seems like the way to do it. So this is our camp. Our guides are up cooking. We have a bathroom situation there. And then our tents. 
but this is really incredible. Uh, this has been a scary idea of a trip for a long time, eh? just the idea of Africa, the idea of all the travel. I've been really intimidated by all of those things, and that has limited my willingness to make the move. But smart enough to say yes to the opportunity of doing this, despite it being a weird time. I've been given an incredible opportunity of life, and I won't waste it. And uh, I hope you do the same. I hope that's what my travel inspires you to want to do, is you can do it. Like it's just a matter of deciding what the steps are to get there and prioritize it. Last night chose to sleep outside on the stars and uh, it was excellent. A little, a little rough, a little stiff this morning. Not the greatest night of sleep I've ever had, but best night of sleep I've ever had on the side of a river in Africa. Just getting ready to start day two on the river and uh, just watched a group of baboons run across the river from the other side of us. That doesn't happen at home. Kelly, how often do you see baboons on your normal river trips? I started kayaking when I was 12. <laughs> 38, 48 now, I guess. So it's a few years, 36 years, right? Uh -huh. That's the first baboon I've ever seen on a river trip. I paddled in Nepal, no baboons. <laughs> Less. That's a, that, was a, um, that was a prehistoric animal you've seen in movies that just went and loped across yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the size of a German Shepherd. It's a little... Uh, I think the Shepherd would be underweight. That was a big... That was like a the wild Shepherd doesn't war. win that fight. No, no, no. Matt has a new nickname. Pop, Popcorn Vincent. He had launched in the boat a little bit. It's uh, it's not nothing. Um, This is... uh, see my expectations of hairiness. Yeah. This is the biggest big water I've ever run. We are the, like, basically the first commercial trip down after the high waters, and so it's extremely high. And none of the video that I've seen looks like what we're running. I was like, I had a map in my head of like, what this looked like, and I don't recognize anything. Starting day three. It's a hell of a 48 hours in Africa, my friends. Uh, day three today, we are heading out to Zimbabwe to another country. Or Zambia, sorry, I'm not great at this. Heading to Zambia to go to uh, a safari. So we're gonna ride around and check out animals all day. Just crossed over the Zimbabwe border into Zambia. Now we're gonna go on safari, check out a bunch of animals. And this uh, border crossing is, it's, uh, it's what I expected. Everyone's super nice, it went smooth, but I'm not at home. So, just entering Botswana for the day. Going into Chobe. Chobe. For yeah. safari. It is elephant capital of the planet. It's like, apparently you see so many elephants, you're like, ah, it's another elephant, who cares? Party. Botswana. Here we go. Boy, about an eight foot crunk here, crunk here. Right, he's sleeping in the sun. Slightly bigger. Pretty cool day, man. Africa's rad. I, I'll be back. I'll be back for sure. I need to come back with Bonnie. I want to come back. All right. Yeah, so I, we've I made it to, to Safari. I'm getting nice. shook it about a bit. We're gonna see what animals we can find here. I've been running wild. Now you've done it again. Oh,
side of a safari vehicle in Africa looking at wild game. Pretty cool day. Top of your life experience. 100%. Wraps up our time in Botswana. Wraps up our time on safari. Tell of a day. I'm off tomorrow to Dubai. So at the end of today, we're wrapped up and heading back to the lodge. You know, we crossed borders today three times and got through. And the company we're with was rad and made that really, really easy. These are all the things I really had big nervousness about going on a trip to Africa, right? And it's all gone really smooth. Um, I'm going to try really hard to not Adventure. let that get in the way of future adventures. Be willing to go and kind of know that it'll, we'll figure it out. This is a really rad place. I'll definitely be returning to Africa uh, in the future. And I mean, like Zimbabwe, Botswana, this is tourism. This is where people come for safari and come and do that. So, uh, 